What's up, Yosh Boy Leon of Tukuli, South African Geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive in to movie catch up. I think this is like, I don't know, the fourth one, the fourth episode of movie catch up. Anyway, first movie on the chopping block is A Wrinkle in Time. What a trippy movie, yo. Like, it was so trippy. Like, the visuals were stunning, it was aesthetically pleasing. The directing was fantastic, the camera movement. I mean, like, it was a full-on Disney movie. Like, directed by the amazing Ava DuVernay. That's her name, right? I don't, I don't know if I'm saying it right. She's perfect for new gods after this movie, strictly from the dialogue standpoint. From Mindy's dialogue alone, actually. <laughs> it was a fantastic movie aesthetically pleasing like I said it was rocky at some moments where I'm like what's really happening like it's one of those movies you blink you are fucked <laughs> like I know like it's just one of those movies where I felt like if I blinked I'm fucked because I was watching with two of my friends and one of them crashed because he had a long day and shit and when he woke up the movie was like 30 minutes away from being done. He was so lost. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But it, it was a good movie. Like, all this negative criticism for this movie made it seem worse than it actually is. It's not even that bad, you know what I'm saying? I give it like a 7 out of 10. Like, it's definitely a watch, a need to watch type of movie. Not really need to watch, but like, glad I watched type of movie. It probably means more to. The younger generation than it will ever will to me anyway yeah second movie on the block is rampage the rocks blockbuster this was a great movie like uh, it was a great time like it reminded me of san andres that other rock movie like the stakes were high it had some joyful moments it had some family family elements to it but you know what i'm saying it just had Everything The Rock delivers when he has a box, off, box office hit, you know what I'm saying? There were some unbelievable moments, like at the end, that moment shocked me when George started helping out people at the end. Like he just killed so many of them and you guys just gonna immediately trust him because he teamed up with a human for a little bit. He, he gotta gain my trust first, you know what I'm saying? This is my opinion. You gotta gain my trust first. Then I just let him pick me up. What if he did this? Kill at that moment and he pretended he was dead. At the end, that was just everything. So it's just sense of humor is everything. Uh, the man-made titans. I'm calling them titans because of the um, Godzilla movie, King of Monsters. It's a dope name to call them. These were man-made titans. Well, man-made from space. Then landed on a zoo that was so convenient <laughs> for one of them to fall on the zoo like like he'd fell in george's cage yo yo oh man it was a fantastic movie it had money penny had that woman from billions had that other dude i don't know where i'm going from but i know him it had fucking negan jeffrey i think that's what his name is the dude would have it was like a Texas dude with swag, man. Like, y'all, I see you walk a Texas right here. He was legit cool as fuck in that movie. I won't even lie. He was cool. He was legit cool. Uh, I give that movie like an 8 out of 10. Definitely watch it again. Like, San Andreas. That, like I said, that's the best definition I could, like, comparison I could give it. San Andreas. Like, it had the best of the rock. I don't know if Skyscraper has that. I'm going to check it out one day. Later on this year, probably. Okay. Third movie on the block is Titan. Or oh, The Titan. Let me say it correctly. Titan. It's a Netflix movie, right? This movie was something else, y'all. This movie was something else. It was like, it started seeing like a family movie. Like, these guys and women, I mean, women and men came together to try to be the first people to survive. You know, on a planet they can't survive for the betterment of humanity. You know what I'm saying? Because humanity's gone to shit. 
I mean, like, so many movies have been made out of it. Even Thanos snapped half the universe because time control and all these things. They, they keep making these movies up. And I don't see anything changing. That's just a side note. I'm just thinking right now, like, goddamn, so many movies and stuff are warning us about this shit. And we just, like, here chilling. I'm just here chilling. It was a fantastic movie at the end. Oh, at the end, it got deadly, though. I wonder how, why... Natalie, the, the character she played, Natalie from Game of Thrones and the likes, the character she played, killed her husband. And he was still attached to his family. I wonder why that was such... Because I thought they were like going to team up and go against everybody. Then they just like murked her character too. A lot of trippy stuff were happening. Like imagine if you voluntarily put yourself in a situation where you turn yourself into this... It didn't look cool at the end. Like, one of the thing I was thinking the whole time when I was watching this movie, this could have been better as a Netflix original series. 13 episodes where you see each house, families, not just focus on that one family. Like, like they did show the other families like bit by bit. But it would be dope if they like showed each house how volatile it got, like that dude who killed his wife and all that stuff. Like. They showed it bit by bit. I think it will be more dramatic if it proved like that. But it was still good. But I feel like, yo, oh, it has the potential to be such a great series, yo. And continue on top of that, like a second season to it. Puppy had the longing situation of it. Like he wants his family, family wants him back. There was this weird, I think it was in post production. Like probably they shot the scenes. Now at night, where they did they skin like black as, as fuck here, and like here was light but it was dark outside. I was like, yo, is that is that like a post production editing thing? <laughs> it just looked weird for me. Anyway, I give this movie like seven point five. Like I said, I prefer. I would have preferred like the whole family dynamic, not just one family focus. Like everybody's. Like, it would have had more impact to see, not like glimpses of the dude losing his rage, people coming in down, then boom, he kills his wife. Like, seeing break down, see his, because he was such a nice dude at the beginning, you know what I'm saying? Like, in my head, like, I couldn't stop envisioning it as a full-blown 13-hour series. I don't know, it just bugged me that it wasn't. Like, I can't give him props for the fact that it wasn't, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I really enjoyed the movie either way. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Noobs.